If I ever find one of these lying around again, I swear to fucking God, I will stop being so polite. Get the fuck out of my sight before I demolish you. Now, when you think of things like cybersecurity and networking and, you know, that kind of that realm and websites, your first thought of like a company is probably going to be Google. And you would be right. Uh, it's not so much on the cybersecurity part in most departments, especially on the surface web of Google, because Google has been dropping the ball a lot recently. We are kind of seeing this show up on YouTube, and YouTube has had a long-standing issue with, like, scam advertisements and just, uh, you know, just actual scams, actual malware running on advertisements. And you have to think that they pay people full-time to go ahead and skim through all of these advertisements to make sure they make it to surface web in a safe manner and you would think like hey, I, I could probably open that in public and you know I uh, like I could, this these ads would probably be safe right and uh, you basically be dead wrong because uh, yeah I mean I know it may be hard to believe but a company te companies tend to slip up every now and then and a company such as Google or even YouTube are the probably the more bigger players that you should be very aware of what's on their platform and before we get too far into this, I just wanted to drop this in here really quick. I am considering streaming for those who are interested in that. If you are interested, just let me know below and I, I guess I'll start setting up a schedule um, to you know, have that in order so I can come by stream and we can hang out a little bit, talk about, I guess, drama or whatnot. And again, hand cams, I've been thinking about doing that. I'll do a little bit less casual gameplay if I was going to do hand cams. If someone was actually interested in that, let me know. Now, I'm not at all saying that this is like acceptable for a company of like their size. Like someone may make the argument that there's the size of their company that they should, you know, th some some things that, like this are going to happen. And it's really un unacceptable, especially for surface level internet for the amount of things that I've been seeing. And I'm pretty sure most of this stuff is I'm just blatantly breaking their terms of service because these include obvious malware and phishing attempts such as like you know those fake uh download a mod for like minecraft ads or something or download free v bucks you, you go to the website you get free v bucks or even uh, mods for like you know this is lethal company on mobile or something you know something that's popular trending and then it's obvious malware and obviously fake and trying to get someone's attention and, and there's a lot of them like that. We're seeing that more and more. Uh, we've had a couple issues with advertisements on the platform. We've even had ad adpocalypses, essentially. I, I don't know how else to describe it other than every sense of the word is what it sounds like. Uh, it was it was a terrible time for YouTube. Not to say that I was there at all. I was I watched it from afar. Yeah, I was not at all involved. I thank God that's not like something I have to deal with. And I'm probably saying that. I'm probably would end up dealing with something like that uh, not that i even have hit the point where i have ads on my shit or making anything from it but i mean it's it's not great to have a bunch of phishing attempts and malware on your front website or even the back to when we had previous issues with advertisements we had this mobile game ads they're still a thing they're even weirder now than ever but they were advertisements that straight up just showed ass in the video like that was the primary it's, uh, I guess method of conveying to you, hey, you want to download this? Look at look at this look at this girl's ass. Like that's that's the kind of stuff that was there, and it was again front page, front of YouTube. I, for a while, I couldn't even like looking up. Uh, like tr I try to stay on like trending topics. Probably that's probably obvious from th this video and my channel itself. But from that, like there would be keywords or something, or like I mostly looked up a lot of games. So I'd get mobile game ads and shit like that, where it was just out of control, wild stuff. And to a normal person, like looking at that, like, wow, dude, you look at some weird shit, don't you? And I, I mean, by default, there was no way I could defend myself because what am I going to sit there and start yapping about how the platform's overridden with hypersexualized content and hypersexualized uh, advertisements that are predatory that use mobile games to try to bring people who play video games in. Uh, that's that was there that was a problem and I wasn't the only one to complain about this uh, a quick shout out to like like Optimus or, uh, yeah Optimus is a perfect example Mudahar probably even talked about this as well I'm pretty sure Mudahar did uh, those two are, were the, like the biggest I thought I was like losing my mind when this shit was happening and those were those two were like the big confirmers for me like that I wasn't crazy something I wasn't actually like a weirdo you know what I mean 
Uh, you can go ahead and say what you in the comments. I, I get it. It's funny to, you know, it's, fu it's funny to make fun of that. But it was, you know, it's it's pretty bad when that's the kind of stuff running around and running amok. And we're seeing those, again, they're usually geared towards more like children and the elderly. Or maybe who, someone who's not as tech savvy as maybe someone in their 20s. I've seen plenty of, like, people in their 20s who aren't tech savvy. So I just not, I'm not blanketing 20-year-olds or anything. But I'm just saying, like, that's something that's that you need to be aware of when you're on surface level internet at the moment, especially. I'm just trying to make this to get the, you know, awareness out. And especially, we just had the whole thing with the ad blockers on YouTube and YouTube not allowing you to have ad blockers. So they're essentially, like, giving you, like, hey, you got three more chances to, like, they take that ad blocker off. And this is Google we're talking about who owns, uh, owns essentially YouTube, right? They're the biggest, they used to be at the very least, biggest proponent for ad blockers. And they, YouTube can definitely survive without, uh, with the very little amount of people who are using ad blockers. And, sent, and essentially they, when they were putting down the ban hammer on that, uh, the use for ad blockers skyrocketed. And Google was, you know, Google is offering these ad blockers as an extension. So it was just like a walk, like Google was just a walking oxymoron right in front of us. and they had no explanation for it they couldn't back up why they were doing what they were doing and it was just ridiculous it still is ridiculous and without the ad blockers we're seeing more and more phishing attempts malware attempts identity you know the theft attempts from shit like this and obviously it's it's bad i don't know if why i would have to explain to you why that's bad it's just bad you can't have that on a surface level website like youtube it's used by millions upon millions every day countless across the globe and there's shit like that running around it's just you know it's not good and then even to uh, i guess add to this is something that i've seen more and more i'm used to seeing shit like this on twitter where if you were to like take a trending word search or something uh and you would like hey something's trending on uh like twitter say like um sbmm was trending on twitter the other day for like call of duty and i wanted to see what that was about see if i can make a video of it and I open it up, and there's, well, well, wouldn't you know, fucking OnlyFans girls advertising their OnlyFans with like a word like, uh, it's me or, uh, you know, Call of Duty or some shit, right? And you know, to be flashing shit on the on the fucking on the on the video, right? That's that's like what was that's on Twitter. At this point, Twitter is a absolute cesspool of just nonsense. But I mean, I find it great for finding a bunch of shit to talk about, and I love talking about it but this is we i'm seeing this move into youtube shorts as well where i'm seeing trending hashtags or searches and it'll just come up and essentially they'll do their little skit or whatever with the trending sound effect the trending action whatever what have you background wherever it is whatever it is and then they'll flash like a very i guess um explicit picture real quick and you open the comments you're gonna see a bunch of people talking about did you guys pause on that were you guys able to get it and then like pointing down to like to the like button like to those to the people who got the who were able to pause at the right point this shit's i i guess that's more of a personal complaint that i have that it's moving towards youtube but i also don't think it should be normalized maybe i'm just weird like having that shit flash real quick like some subliminal messaging shit it's it's bad right you, it's kind of annoying to see this shit the way that youtube is going and youtube doesn't have any competitors it's not like we can just like go over to someone um we had story fires story fire did not have what it took to keep up right that happened it happened we had a, we kind of have to let that one go we have kick on the rise um it's more of a streaming platform than anything else but i've heard some talk of them moving to videos i don't think that's going to be the case because competing with the juggernaut such as google while they're competing with twitch not that they're having to go much against twitch because twitch's moderation team is a joke and they're pushing everyone towards kick which seems to be a better platform for everyone despite kick again I i'm just going to say this kick has some of the worst people on it terrible awful people who hold themselves in high regard above everyone else who are complete jackasses right and just just as it's you know being a larger company with no other i guess alternatives to go to i mean the, really can you think of any other alternatives that are viable for the amount of content that exists on youtube especially for as long as it's been around the amount of content that will have been uploaded and is being uploaded YouTube is probably going to suppress people talking about it. Uh, we've already seen the whole point system and 
things that they don't like being talked about, being suppressed in the recommendations. And I, this is probably gonna happen to this video. I don't know, I'm a, I'm a much smaller channel. So I, uh, it's, we'll see what happens. I just wanted to get out there like, this is just, uh, we shouldn't have this normalized on a platform like this. This is not okay. This is not acceptable. I mean, this is, this. it's basically some like dark web, like you go to the second page of Google search results type of shit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, we can't just normalize that. We can't just have this happening all the fucking time. Uh, with that, I guess um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Subscribe, stick around. I got plenty more videos I'm working on. Uh, again, if you want to see me stream, I, let me know. I'm trying to trying to gauge responses to that, especially trying to gauge responses with like the hand cam thing, and then I could, you know, make the video a little bit more entertaining for people watching, and maybe even uh, maybe even I'll make a Discord server if, if people's actually if anyone's actually interested in uh, sticking around for that and just hanging out. Thank you. See ya.